Hello, folks. My name is Donald Martin, a.k.a. Dapper Don, and I'm manager of the York Community Service Association thrift store located in beautiful York, Maine. Did you know YCSA has been helping their neighbors for over 60 years? And sales from our thrift store help support our food pantry and family service programs. Each week, I'll be taking you on a journey behind the scenes, showing you some of the amazing merchandise this generous community donates to our thrift store. And who knows, we may even find some hidden treasures together along the way. It's Dapper Dawn, and welcome back to the YCSA Thrift Shop. Today marks the end of our first reopening week, and what a week it's been. We've seen so many old friends. We've made many new friends. It's just been amazing. Uh, the patience and support from all our customers, um, you know, watching us navigate through all these CDC protocols and so on, the lines outside waiting to come in and, you know, the self-checkout and credit card uh, or debit card only and, um, you know, six foot distancing and the masks and all of that. Um, we just can't get over how kind and patient everyone's been. And that really means a lot. Our employees and volunteer staff has been amazing. Um, our door monitors, our checkout staff, our sorters, they have so stepped up to the plate and really given their all to make this reopening successful. And I can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Um, it's been quite a week, folks. Um, what else is going on? Oh, yes. So our reopening dollar sale for clothing only. That's been amazing and folks love it because not only can you get a shirt or pants for a dollar each, you can get gowns and you can get men's suits and you can get coats, all a dollar each. We had a gentleman who bought a Brooks Brothers two-piece suit for a dollar. We had a young girl who bought some dress-up clothes, three gowns, three dollars. She's gonna have a lot of fun playing dress-up in those. Um, coats. Uh, it's just amazing what people are buying and they love it and they appreciate it and we appreciate them as well. So I think it's about time I look for some treasures. It's been a long time, folks. You ready? Let's go. Okay, we're going to walk down into our sorting room here. Staff only. Let's go through the doors. So let's see here. Well, we've got some muffin pans. Oh, we've got all kinds of things. And this is what we see every day. So, oh, look at these. There's some nice boots, Yukon boots. Those are pretty good. What else? See if we can find a treasure. Hmm. This looks interesting. That's a handmade pottery piece. That's really pretty. Look at those, I don't know if they're daisies, I'm not sure, but this is really beautiful. What else is in here? Mm, looks like we've got some silver plate, little Christmas items. Oh, there's Santa. Well, he's pretty cool. Oh, that's a great Santa. Look at him. I like that. That'll be going upstairs in our holiday section. Okay, let's look in this box here. What do we have? All kinds of little things here. Oh, what a cute little lamp. That is cute. And what's this here? Hmm, this looks kind of interesting. Okay, this is definitely handmade. Uh, look, you can see how this handle was molded right on that cup. Really nice, a, a stein, I guess. Now, if we look inside, let me see. If you look inside, you can see all the ridges here. So that tells me this is a hand-thrown piece, which means they put it on the potter's wheel and they spin it and they form this beautiful shape. This is really nice, folks, a nice handmade piece. And look at this wonderful glazing on it, this beautiful blue paint. And you can feel this is very glossy. 
beautiful piece, really well done. Um, I love how you see the, these molded marks where they molded the clay right into this main piece here. Beautifully done. Now, what's it say here? Hmm, William, oh, this is, I think it says William Sonoma Pottery. This, folks, is really special. I'm gonna call this a treasure. This is nice, and you know what? It feels good in your hands, too. This is a really nice piece. This is gonna be in our store, and if you're interested, come today, because I bet you it's not gonna last too long. Now, what else? Here's a bag here, wine glass. Folks, if you don't know it already, this is a great place, YCSA Thrift Shop, to buy wine glasses. They're usually 50 cents each or maybe a dollar each. You need some wine glasses in a pinch, you just come here. Now, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. How many of you know what this is? This, folks, is an egg poacher. So you see this little hook? It hooks on to your pan of uh, hot water, not boiling, but hot water. And you hook this on so that this basket, which will have a raw egg in it, this basket will go into the water and you can see all the holes so that the hot water comes through. And you should, although I've never tried it, but I'm thinking you should have a pretty perfectly poached egg um, using this contraption. And then you just lift it out with this handle so you don't burn yourself. This is pretty fun. This will be in our kitchen uh, gizmo and gadget section in our thrift shop. So I'm gonna put this aside too, right here. And there's another one here. This is great. But what I'm seeing is this, rocking horse. How great is that? Look at this rope here. It looks like it's attached right to the wood there. Look how great this is, this handmade piece. Um, it looks like a, I'm not sure if that's a glass eye. I think it may be a plastic eye, but it's beautiful. And this beautiful leather, strap here and these looks like handmade nails or tacks. This is a great piece, a nice leather seat. Beautifully made, folks, beautifully made. Um, I don't think it's super, super old because you can see it's Phillips screws. So if it was a flathead, that would tell me it's, it's really an antique. I'm sure it still is vintage but um, I wouldn't call it an antique necessarily. Wouldn't this be great for a grandchild? What a sweet rocking horse. And you know what? You don't have to use it just for a grandchild. What about a decoration in your home? How great would that look? Almost a little primitive type piece to display in your home. That folks is really nice. Well, that's all for today, folks. I hope you liked today's video. I just wanna take this opportunity to thank everyone for their patience and support this past year. And thank everyone for the great success of our first week of our grand opening. It really means a lot. Well, as always, folks, please stay safe and we'll see you next time. Bye.